Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Wartrain here, and today's video is going to be about the Neo Geo Mini. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell down below to get notifications of all my new videos. And hopefully you'll like the video, and if you do, give me a thumbs up and like the video at the end. I'd really appreciate it. And with that all said, um, this is the Neo Geo Mini, guys. Uh, this came out in the summer of 2018. Um, originally it came out in Japan. Uh, they had a, a variant of this. So this is the international version. It looks a little different. Um, theirs had like, um, a sticker sort of like the marquee, uh, decal that went over the button area. Um, I personally like this look better. Um, it's a little more plain, but that's just perfect personal preference. It does come with two stickers to use as the marquee. So you could change it if you want. I chose this one because it has the games on and looks like a true marquee. Um, it shows a couple games and I just think it looks cool. The other one only has um, one of the characters from King of Fighters or something on it. And it says Neo Geo real big. And to me, I didn't, yeah, I didn't need that one there. And it also has a white sticker like this instead of black, it's white. And it looks like you could probably put it on the back or on the sides, but I really had no reason to use that sticker. So it's just, it's just in the box here. Um, cool looking box. I like, like the colors. I think that's pretty neat. And this thing doesn't come with any controllers. So the controllers you see here, um, I bought them separately. Um, and I couldn't decide. They had a white and a black one. So I just bought both of them because uh, I wanted to have two anyway. I wanted to w have a way to play two players with controllers because I didn't want to have to sit there and play in uh, TV mode and actually um, use this little joystick and, and buttons on here. So I did get some controllers. Um, you know, I think that's definitely a good deal. If you're picking this up, you might want to go ahead and just spend the money and get them. So it, it makes this system definitely cost more. And another cost is you have to go out and you have to buy an HDMI to HDMI mini cable to hook it up to the TV. This does not come with it, unfortunately. Uh, this is definitely one of the, the flaws with this system because this system uh, retails at $79.99. So it's definitely kind of pricey not to have these cables because it has this cable missing. And then this is the cable that you do get, which is um, USB-C type C to a regular USB-A style, and that it comes with no wall, uh, no power brick for to plug into the wall. So um, I'm actually personally using my NES Classic um, uh, power brick for the wall, or my Super Nintendo one. So you're gonna have to provide your own, and that's definitely another problem with this system. Cause like I said, it's $80 basically. So um, right there, you don't have a power brick that comes with it and you do not have um, the cord to plug it in directly into the TV. So you might want to think about that if you're on the fence about purchasing one. Um, but I wanted to have this. There's a lot of these mini consoles. I think they're cool. I like to collect them. And um, this one is cool. One, you know, once you get it, it has some good games. There's 40 games for the 40th anniversary because it's a 40th anniversary edition. That's why they came out with these. There is a couple other variants. Um, there was a Christmas version, and then they also released a version with more games. And uh, coming soon, there's gonna be a couple that are clear. There's gonna be a red clear one, blue clear one, and a just straight up clear one. Those look really awesome. Um, I'm not sure about the games on it. They're probably the same games. Uh, maybe they'll add a couple, that I'm not sure of. But this is the Neo Geo Mini, guys. Um, it's a pretty neat system. The joysticks, they do have a problem. They're not clicky like the original ones, so you have to get used to that. Um, that's all, you know, preference. Uh, me, I don't have a problem with it, but it'd probably work a little better if they were clicky. Um, but I, like I said, I've never owned one of these because they were $650 to have the original system, the... Uh, AVS, which was just too much for, for me to get. Um, but that's the Neo Geo Mini, guys. And we'll check out some, some gameplay. Uh, first, we'll check out some tabletop mode. And then we'll check it out on the TV. Uh, let's go check that out now. All right, guys. So I got her plugged in. So let's check this thing out. Hit the little power button. 
you can see this lights up, which I believe that's a cool little effect there. Just adds to it, makes it kind of look a little more quality. And then here you got the user interface, and it's definitely pretty loud. And you have settings, help, copyright info. So let's just check out the settings here. So you got English, default, the brightness, volume, which that goes up pretty loud. Oh, I didn't even realize I moved over. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I guess I don't need it all the way up. Let's see. Let's try that. So B is back. And you got your list of games down here. So definitely, there's definitely some cool games on here. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go check out, where is it, Magician Lord. This, uh, that's actually one of the uh, only platformers on here. Let's see, there we go, right here. Okay. So I believe this game, uh, the uh, AVS and the MVS versions, I guess the AVS version, the home console one, um, that actually had cutscenes in it, and this one, I believe, is that one that has the cutscenes. Let's see. Okay. All right. Following is a story of fantasy. All right, let's get to it. And as you can see, I mean, this screen does look really good. It's crisp. Um, there's not much you can ask for besides that. Let's see. Oh, whoop. Hit the wrong button. Let's see. Which one? Shoot. All right. There we go. So like I said, this is like, I believe the only, oh, I'm dead already. I believe this is the only platformer on here, or one of the only ones. But this thing's definitely neat. Um, you know, it, I wish they would have had a battery that you could have kind of took this portable. That would have been awesome. But, you know, it is what it is. You could always get a, uh, you know, power bank or whatever something to charge your phone and uh, charge this thing at the same time or if you have a nintendo switch and you already have a power bank um, or you have one because you use it for your phone you could always use it for this and then then you would get it, uh, the portability aspect of it so cool now i uh, turned into a dragon uh, definitely like this game's cool i remember playing it in the arcade and having a good time with it um, definitely eating some quarters because I wasn't that good at this. And I believe that's the pr problem with the buttons that people had is the orientation of jump. Uh, jump is B. So it, it almost feels like A should be the jump button right here and that this should be fire. Um, that's, that's how it, I, I believe it should be, but... Or uh, just have it like on the bottom. Uh, just it's a little strange, but that's fine. So okay, well that's uh, that's the magician game. Um, you know, I figured I'd show you guys some handheld version and uh, or game table top version, and uh, now I'll show you the TV mode. So let's check that out. Yeah, when this was all first came out, this game looked awesome. I'm, it still, in my opinion, looks really good. Uh, definitely a fan of uh, shooters, or they call them shoot 'em ups now, but definitely a fan of shooters. These games are just 
Uh, real easy uh, pick up and play style games. There are some really hard ones though, but the big, I always have a good time with uh, shooters. And they're always seem to be pretty hard. Yeah, now imagine uh, this game was 1998, but imagine some of these games in, you know, 1992 or whatever in your house. Uh, that is awesome. I, uh, man, I couldn't even imagine. But I'm sure there was somebody that was uh, really spoiled and their parents had a lot of money that picked them that up back then. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure they uh, had a lot of people hanging around their house. Thought they were their friends, but they're like, yeah, screw you, buddy. I just came to play your games. I didn't know anybody that had nothing like this. Uh, this game looks pretty good, but, I mean, there is... Is a little blurriness on the screen. Uh, this game, I think it hides it pretty good, um, but some of the other games you can really notice it. It definitely is there. Um, I know anybody that has this, that is their same gripe with this and the lack of some features. Like I said, there's no, um, you can't add any scan lines. Me, I'm not a huge fan of adding scan lines unless the game looks better with having them but uh, I actually like I like the games to be clear as clear looking as they can be um, and then there's no bezels which yeah that's is what it is I mean some people prefer them um, there's definitely some some borders that would look cool on this um, Super Nintendo has one that uh, on the sides of the screens it actually kind of like lights a color up and I, I uh, am a big fan of that uh, lights the side of the screen up kind of like whatever color is dominant on the screen but that was uh, That was blazing star uh, Definitely a cool game. So there's a puzzle game on here. Like I said, there's a bunch of these metal slugs It's it's weird trying to go uh, side to side to pick a game with the joystick um, Like I said, it's not clicky. So you keep it keeps wanting to like go up or or down or whatever and that's why you see me keep going up to like, uh, you know, the options and all that stuff. And here we got some shock troopers. We'll check out some, some shock troopers quick. No, I don't want to be on this screen. <laughs> all right, here we go. Shock troopers it is. And shock troopers is pretty much a shooter game as well. The second one is kind of a lot different than the first one. Uh, they definitely made some different choices, so the gameplay is a little different. Let's see, we'll do normal. All right. Okay, that's fine. Lonely Wolf. Route select. Just go to whatever. Like I said, shooters are a good kind of go-to game. Uh, they're fun, they're easy, easy to pick up and play. And man, I could not imagine having this at my house. Again, it just blows my mind. Cause this looks good even now. It definitely just looks like an arcade game. And uh, you know, just, just imagining having this, it's like compared to, you know, maybe a uh, a, a Nintendo, even just like an NES game, uh, just the different quality of graphics is is night and day. Because um, I think of maybe like the game Commando versus this. Uh, Commando is like super plain, uh, <laughs> and then you take something like this, which really reminds me of Commando, and you know it, it blows that away. I mean, wow. Just the way that the tanks look and everything, you ain't getting nothing like that um, anywhere else back at, in that time. So let's exit and I'll uh, show one more game. We'll go to uh, some people's favorite game, which would be um, like Samurai Showdown.
Oh, or the King of Fighters. There, people are like huge fans of that. Let's see. King of Fighters or Samurai Showdown. Let's do Samurai Showdown. Yeah, we'll, we'll do two. That's fine. So Samurai Showdown two on the Neo Geo Mini. Max three thirty mega. The future is now. SNK. All right, let's do this. Sure, we'll be this guy. The cover guy. And the one thing that sucks is uh, this international version, they don't show blood. <laughs> they show, like, uh, you know, just a different color instead of blood. The Japanese version, they did ha do have blood in the games. We get, like, sweat or maybe just a variant color. Like, this one's green. So we get green whatever instead of blood, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And this game, I can definitely see, is blurry. Um, it does look like there's some kind of a, like a Vaseline rubbed over it. Just like a thin layer. Um, I don't know why you could have this game looking better on the Nintendo Switch, uh, but that kind of sucks. This is when the game had tons of flashes, so if you had seizures, or they could make you have seizures, so if you were prone to seizures, you definitely wouldn't want to play this game. But this is the Neo Geo Mini, guys. Um, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, do you like these mini consoles? Or are you getting tired of them? Or maybe you just don't even really know much about any of them. So you're just looking for information or just to check them out. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan. I think they're awesome to collect. Um, they've got a bunch of good games on them for the most part. Um, but let me know what you guys think about, about them in the comments below. And... Uh, this is War Train, and I'm out.